you have created multiple components and you have also displayed some test data to the view. It's important to know that in Angular, you can pass data or events between components. Having multiple components in an app is really important to get rid of the duplicated code, which will also improve our app's performance. When two components interact with each other, we do have a parent component and a child component. The parent component is the one that renders the other component, which we call a child component. So in here we do have the details page of a movie. In here we have like the movie title, the trailer, some description in here, then we have the actors, we do have the movie reviews, and we do also have the similar movies section. We have said that and we have also created components for the actors and for the reviews section. What this means is that inside the details component, we are going to render two other components, which are the actors, so the details actors component and the details reviews component. The details component in this case is our parent component, because inside this component we are rendering other components, in this case the reviews and the actors. And in this case, the actors and the reviews components are the children components. A parent component can have multiple child components. Now, let us go to our app and let us try to use a parent component and have two children components. In here, I'll just go to the app.component.html. And then in here, in the app component, I'm going to call the details component. I'll just put an HR. And then here, app and details. So this is going to be the parent component. Now, let us just go to the app details component. So in here, go to the details and then to the HTML file. Inside the template for the parent component, we are going to call the child components. The first one is going to be the app details movies. And then after this one, we are going to have the app details reviews. Now let us save the changes in here and go to the browser. And here in the browser, you can see that this is the app component. Then in here we do have the details component. And inside the details component, we are now loading the details movies and the details reviews. So these are the child components and this is the parent component. Now this is all you're going to learn on this part related to the parent and the child components. On the upcoming parts, as we start creating our app, you're going to learn how to pass events and also how to pass data between the parent and the child components.